Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, we are back with another episode of Return to Diamond, where we, at the moment, are sitting at Platinum 161 LP. I am still out of town right now in Canada, A, eh? so this is a pre-recorded video. I'm recording this beforehand and I have to make five videos today, so I don't have a lot of time. We're just gonna be playing one game and I thought it might be fun if today we could see if I can finally figure out Aurelia. Aurelia is someone that I've been absolute garbage at ever since I unquit League. The last game we played with her was seven days ago. We won it, but we also went 0-5 and 8. I kind of said I wasn't going to play her anymore because, you know, she's not that good, and I understand that. I mean, she can be played mid lane, but she's not super viable top lane with all the counter picks and everything that there are that you can use against her. But she's my most played champion. We have 1.3 million mastery points on her. I should be able to play her. I should be able to go positive and not lose a lane with my most played champion. So we're going to figure out how to do that and try and remember how to play her. All right, here we go. Looks like we're playing against a Malphite top lane. I feel like Aurelia probably doesn't do super well into this matchup, but we're going to make it work anyway. I don't know if there are any matchups that Aurelia does do well into anymore. So this might be the best we're going to get. We have a 47% win rate versus him. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll start corrupting potion in case we do have any sort of opportunity for an early kill before he hits level six. And let's go. Here we go. Oh, okay, that was pretty good, but I, I can't go further. Good job though, thank you for the gank. So far we are three minutes in and we have not died. That is good. Oh no, I'm, I'm leaving you. Okay, okay. He used Ignite. That's actually good for us. Can we go further? No, we can't. But that's still good. And our bot lane gets first blood. Solid work. Okay, we actually get a kill. Can we get two? Yes, we can. Okay. Wow. We actually got two kills and we have not died. This, it, what? I don't think we've had a game where we've gotten a kill before dying since we started playing Aurelia top lane again. We get a recall off and buy a Phage, Boots, and we still have our Corrupting Potion. Also bought a Control Ward, cause we're gonna ward. I'm gonna be smart about that. Do you wanna go for a TP? I can stop his TP with my E. I think there's action going down bot lane. Wow, it's seven to one, Brazil v Germany. Good, solid work, team. It would be kind of anticlimactic if I were to <laughs> make this whole big old speech about how I'm learning to play Aurelia again, learning to win with Aurelia again, and then my team were just to carry me. So let's make sure we also contribute and do our job. Right now, this is one of the boring bits, but you can see this huge wave we have, and Malphite cannot see us anything here. Because if he goes in, I will miss my E and get ulted by him and die. He missed that. Nope. Okay. Using the ulti just for the slow on, on Hecarim to make sure that he doesn't kill me. Okay. Wow. I, I was talking all that, <laughs> all that trash. But yeah, keeping this minion wave big and keeping it alive right here, frozen in this spot of the lane. Malphite just recalled, so we can still keep this frozen here and then recall, teleport back to lane, keep the freeze going. That is looking very, very promising. Look at that CS differential, 6532. Looks like he's not even going to bother being in lane. He's going to go and try and get Hecarim blue buff, which sadly is going to work, but we'll keep the freeze going. There's a pink ward here, so I'm going to shove the wave out and go clear it. And also bot lane just got shut down. They're getting a couple of kills. This game's not over yet. I can't, I can't just assume the... The win is secured. And Hecarim is still up here. Dude, gank somebody else, okay? It's not working up here. Just gank someone else. Malphite has his ulti back, I think, at this point. And we did just see Hecarim toppling. He's probably taking rev up right now, but I do want to push and start taking some turret platings. I'm not usually able to do that. And I was wrong. He already had it. He's down here now. We're good. We're good. Oh. Ah, where did she teleport to? She has no health. Oh, I wish I had my E up. <laughs> oh, she got her. And I got the assist. Good job, Caitlin. Thank you very much. Oh, that was... I don't know if she just didn't see me. 
I guess she she was probably teleporting before she saw me. Oh, here's a good trade. Oh, maybe I should have... I didn't realize my attack speed was higher. Maybe I could have gotten a few more autos in and then gotten a kill. We force a recall out of him, though, along with a teleport back to lane so we can get those minions. And 116 CS to 50 right now. That is ginormous. Malphite leaves lane, which I do want to start leaving lane myself and group, not only for the sake of making sure that we show up to team fights and win the game, but also for the sake of making this YouTube video more exciting and not just me out CSing Malphite the entire game. But we do still have turret platings we can take, so let's go ahead and take those. Be smart, prioritize the smart play and the win over making a good YouTube video. We will take another one there, clear out these minions, and maybe get the first tower. Now our team's already taken a few towers. Like, get one of the early towers or not. The game's actually getting a little bit closer than I would like it to be. 16 kills to 10 right now. We definitely want to make sure we keep playing smart. But right now the smart play is to take this, which we do. Good job me. Now I will rotate down to mid. We might be able to take this or kill the Zoe. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, hi Hecarim. Oh! Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, that was a really dangerous Herald, but good job, I guess. Can we go for the dive? I'll fight. Is he a Balti? I missed mine. I'm horrible. Okay, that's still a two for one. We got the tower. I guess that's okay work. Never mind. Oh, that was the wrong one. And I didn't get the reset. Did I not kill it with the Q? Okay, that was dumb. All right, 115. Overall, we're doing pretty well, and we were sitting on a lot of gold there. Maybe we should have recalled before we fought that, but eh, we're still doing fine. A dumb death, but hopefully it won't matter in the grand scheme of things, as we still have a huge lead. Next play is to go over to this dragon because there is an Earth Drake up that could be pretty important. We already have one, and it would be really sweet for our split push and Baron potential if we could take another. Although Pike is getting caught out by Malphite and just gave him double buff. And I am here, but this is 3v4, 3v3. I'm almost here, almost here, almost here. Here we go. Wow, I'm amazing. 316, let's go. We'll take the mid tower as well as that dragon and now start rotating. We want to be smart about our objective play. Objective play is one of the weaker, weaker areas of um, this rating <laughs> in, in particular. Uh, I could have gotten that. I missed it. And our teammates are getting caught. That's not super good. I want to go and try and kill him. Dude, that was, that was awesome. There we go. Get two kills. Two kills for nothing. And we should be able to take this tower now. Even if Malphite defends, I think we can just tower dive him. He's not going to defend, though. 4-1-7. Actually, he might defend. And, okay. We are going to die. That's a little unfortunate, but we got the tower. We can also finish our Sterics gauge now. Look at this. 427, 167 CS, 18, 19 minutes in, and we're finishing our second item. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. I think now I'll go ahead and get a GA with a stopwatch because I still don't know how to use stopwatch effectively, and I kind of want to try practicing. I think now I'm going to start split pushing bot lane. Nobody can 1v1 me. I am miles ahead of CS. I mean, compared to everybody in this game, even my own teammates. And with Baron coming up, we might have some real potential 20-minute Baron threat. And if they all five go to defend it, I can take the tower with double double Earth Drake. Looks like our teammates have the same idea. Good to see we're all on the same page. Okay, they're coming after me. We get a kill. And... Why am I going back in? Why am I going back in? Because I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. I'm a dumb, 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 dummy. Just take the Baron and go, idiot, idiot. Wow, that was solid objective play. And that was pretty good micro by me too, right? That wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. I'm actually going to go for a teleport here onto this minion so that this tower, 
has two tank minions longer, and then I was thinking maybe we could go and, and go for taking the tower, but I guess they have four people here. We have three, and our Fizz is about to die. We can get a double stun, though. Do not turn. This is a 2v4. It's really a 1.5v4, and our top can split push to take an inhib anyway. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm being a dummy. That's what I'm doing. Ugh. That was so dumb. That was old Jibe coming back up. We can finish the GA, though. I remembered to press the stopwatch, but it didn't do anything there. They're going for the Earth Drake as we all kind of died. I would have loved to get a triple Earth Drake, but I guess giving up one isn't the end of the world. Can we catch somebody as they're recalling? That would be, that would be dope. Get an ulti out of Malphite, though. That might give us an opportunity to push. Ooh. Good catch. I did a horrible E there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we keep the GA. And we got two kills for one. Solid work. Oh, I didn't get the E off. Am I good? Oh, I got the stun on him. Can you finish? I didn't, I'm not really doing much in these later team fights. We're kind of choking a little bit. Which is a little bit interesting because that's not really how Aurelia works. Right now, Aurelia is supposed to be better and better the later and later the game goes on with some pretty crazy hyperscaling. Where we kind of played her like we did the old Aurelia. Dominate laning phase, get a huge early CS lead, and then almost throw the game. <laughs> that's that's the G-Base staple. But hey, whatever almost happened, who cares? Because we still get the win. Can I not die? Still get a not bad KDA. Malphi missed his ulti and his everything. Oh, don't kill me, Jin. Just auto the Nexus. We don't have to get the kills. Okay, there we go. Good game. Well played. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. I was recording that, right? I better have been recording that. That was my first Aurelia game that I actually didn't do horribly since coming back to League. That bumps us up 18 LP, totaling at 79. Still just two wins away from these promos to Diamond. When I am back from my trip to Canada, I will hopefully have a Road to Diamond episode where we play those two games and just get two wins and we will finally be in our Diamond promos. But for now, that was a pretty great game. We finished five, three, and 10. I had a lot of fun, almost the most gold in the game and pretty solid work. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this episode of Return to Diamond. I will see you in the next one. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.